Okay, so this is problem 27.56, gives you a circuit, it has a metal bar that has a resistance to other resistors, and wants the acceleration of the bar after the switch is closed, magnetic field and everything. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and I labeled my resistor so I could do the math and have everything clear. So we're gonna label this one R1, this one R2, and then this bar here is going to be our R3, and that is 10 ohms as it states here in the problem. Now, we are going to go ahead and combine it so we can get some equivalent resistance and start actually doing math. We know that R2 and R3 are in parallel. Yeah, beautiful. So R2, 3 is going to be equal to R2 times R3 over R2 plus R3 which is equal to 100 over 20, so 5 ohms, because they're both 10 ohm resistors. So now if we want to find our equivalent resistance, REQ is equal to R123, those are the exact same thing, which is equal to R1 plus R23, which equals 25 plus 5 ohms that we just found. So we have a 30 ohm equivalent resistor. So now if we want to find the current, of our entire thing, so with the current of the battery, we know that I equals V over R, this is from Ohm's Law, and we have our voltage that gave us as 120 volts, That's, yeah. and we have this 30 ohm resistor, so we're going to get a 4 amperes of current, this is going to be like a battery and at R1 and then from R23. So now if we want our voltage within our R23, so kind of right here, the voltage that would be in this parallel um, series, or our parallel circuit, um, we have V equals I R. So voltage equals our current for, this is R23, times our resistor of R23, which is 5 to get 20 volts of, well, to get 20 volts running through R23, that parallel circuit. And parallel has a constant voltage, so this is going to be the voltage at R2 and at R3 at the bar. So we want our current specifically at the bar, we want I3, we're going to have to take this voltage at 3 divided by the resistance at 3. So 20 over 10 gives you 2 amperes of current running through that bar, through that third resistor of sorts. We are trying to find acceleration. So that's the most commonly seen in force equals mass times acceleration. We have another force. This other force is going to be from a magnetic field. So it's current times the length of like a wire times the length of the field times sine of phi. And if you look at our picture, everything's at this nice right angle. So phi is 90 degrees, and sine of 90 is just 1. So our force is very simply ILB. You don't have to work with an angle. You can go ahead and set these two forces equal to each other and solve for acceleration to get ILB over M. M is mass. We can plug in our numbers. We have 2 amperes of current that we just found. It tells us we have a length of 0.85 meters. We have a magnetic field of 1.6 teslas. And it our mass, it gives us newtons, so 2.6. Now, to find mass from a gravitational thing, got to divide that by the 9.81 um, for the acceleration due to gravity. And then you can go ahead and just solve for acceleration to get 10.25 meters per second squared.